All right, let's get started. Now what I've done is I put the lemons in this pot of water and I've set them to boil for 10 minutes. I'm going to take two of these at a time and I'm going to put them in a jar. In the jar I have a single clove. And I did measure first to make sure how many I could fit in a jar. Make sure your lemons are all about the same size. It just makes it easier to make sure they're all done at the same time. So all we've done so far is scrub them real good and put them in boiling water for 10 minutes. And then put them with a clove in a jar. We're just going to fill all these up. And I'm not going to seal one of these because I'm going to cook with it to show you what to do with these lemons. You know, they, I like these lemons better than the other ones where you store them in salt. Uh, it, this is salty still, but not near as salty. The lemon skin absorbs a lot of that salt, but it doesn't penetrate all the way through. Alright, so we've got these in there, and let me go ahead and get my other pot. Yes, I do that a lot, don't I? And because I thought I was filming already and didn't have any audio, I've already done this. This has two teaspoons of ground coriander, or four teaspoons of crushed coriander. I happen to have ground on hand, so that's what I'm using. And one teaspoon of turmeric. And you just put it in there and we just bring it to a boil so that we can use it as our hot in our jars. So I'm gonna get my funnel. All right, so I'm gonna take my filler and I'm just going to pour in to quarter inch from the top. Now let's do a half inch because I had one not seal once. I'll make it a little lower. It's called Sunshine in a Jar. And uh, I think Bon Appetit just recently reprinted this. So we're going to fill our jars and then put our lids on. And I'll be back. Once you have your jars filled, you're going to take a damp paper towel and you're going to wipe your rims. Remember, it's very hot, so be very careful. And make sure you keep moving your um, paper towel around because you don't want to get the dirty stuff. Just wipe right back onto your lid. All right, and just wipe them up. All right, go ahead and use your magnet to pull it out. Put it on and screw it on. I do not put my rings in the boiling water because they rust a lot quicker. A lot of people like to. Um, they don't loosen up as easily or as far, but I like to keep my rings around a while. Some of these are 30 years old. See, that's a bad one. And we're going to have to get one more because I want to do seven and then I'm going to put a lid on one of them. That's the one we're going to cook with. Okay, so now we're going to put them in our pressure canner. This is a Presto. I'm going to do one layer. I have the bottom grill in and two inches of water that I have been heating on the stove. It is the same temperature as the content inside my jars. So I'm going to hand tighten my jars and put them in. I don't hand tighten until I'm putting them in. It's just how I like to do it. I get them lightly tight, but I don't check them until I'm putting them in. A little toasty. And you can use your jar lifter to do that if you have sensitive hands. Please be careful. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pressure can these for 20 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. 
started thinking you know I have a lot of new viewers and uh, it's been a while since I showed this first thing you want to do is you want to line up the two V's Oops, you can't even see it you want to line up the two V's set your lid on and then twist it close you want to leave the vent off until the steam has been coming out of it for 10 minutes this is your pressure dial this is going to sizzle and pop with water until you finally put your pressure cap on and I have a weighted cap because I have a gauge you may just have weights so you want to do your five pound with your stem and another five pounder to make it ten pounds so we're gonna let this come up to temp and vent for ten minutes and I'll be back there you go can you see the venting I'm trying to ring my finger to it Do you see that when that starts coming out really steady is when you start your timer and you're gonna let it do that for 10 minutes because here at Hisson those are air bubbles that are coming out sometimes it just takes a little while so if you do it for 10 minutes you'll make sure that you get it all vented sometimes this will pop up other times it won't don't worry about it if it doesn't as long as it pops up once you put your weight over the vent then you'll be okay my 10 minute timer just went off so now I'm going to put my weight on and I'm going to watch that climb right before it hits 10 I'm gonna start lowering my temp the all-american I can't lower my temp but the pressure canner I can get down to medium low with this one um, and then once it reaches temp and pressure of 10 pounds I'm gonna start my timer for 20 minutes I also wanted to say please don't leave your kitchen when you're pressure canning I know there are all kinds of safety mechanisms and you cannot hurt yourself you can't it's gonna blow this and this lid is not gonna go anywhere it's the way it's designed once this blows nothing goes anywhere and uh, but you can burn your food you can cause it to blow that and there goes your pressure canner the minute it gets into caution once it's up in there it's gonna blow it and you will lose your canner you will have to go send it off and get it replaced or order a new button um, and hope that you didn't warp it depending on how long it took for it to reach that temperature so please whenever you're using a pressure canner stay right there with your eyes on the dial if you have a weighted canner stay right there and listen with your ear for the four jingles a minute and reduce your temp till you get there but, but don't risk leaving it don't risk your food don't risk your equipment all right we'll see you in probably about 10 minutes so it's approaching 10 pounds of pressure I am going to turn it down to about medium high and I'm going to go ahead and start my timer for 20 minutes still keep track of that watch it for the next 20 minutes and then we're going to turn it off and let it set till it cools all right so when you think it's cold and the dial's down wait another 30 minutes you touch this and nothing hisses out you're ready go ahead and take it off now remember which way it goes and then always open it away from you you want the steam not to come at your face And let's go ahead and put out, uh, pull out our sunshine in a jar. Now you want to make sure you wait two weeks before you open these. And uh, I'll show you the one that I did in pressure can and the one that I did. If you're using the tattler lids, this is when you're going to retighten the lids down. And there we go let's zoom in so you can see the difference between the cooked and the uncooked and you all probably noticed I didn't say add the vinegar I had already added the vinegar with the water so I didn't even think about it now we did get a split on the lemons one of them at least I'm looking to see if we got a split on any of the others They are very hot they are still boiling all right so you'll notice the ones that weren't put in the 
pressure canner are yellower. These are more orangey. And that is because the rinds got cooked a whole lot longer. They got cooked for 20 minutes more than these rinds did. But they'll taste the same because you're not going to eat the rind. You could do a citrus um, peel with the rind. So we're going to let these sit for two weeks minimum. And then we're going to show you a meal with that. So we're going to make some fish and some rice with our sunshine in a jar. This is the sunshine in a jar that's been in my refrigerator for three months. And this is the sunshine in a jar that's been canned. Do you notice? They're a lot smaller. Um, let me go ahead and open them. Okay, let me try to open them. And dump them in. And this is the pressure can. Now, I've tried to do that salt lemons before and they were really nasty um i'm going to taste this it's a little salty but it's really lemony hmm the canned whoa is lemon a little salty not near as salty as the unpressure can but extremely lemony so let's go ahead and pull one out and we'll cut it open and let's taste inside. I don't taste the salt in the refrigerated one and these things are much skinner, skinnier. Can't tell if my finger's salty. Okay, that's salty. That one's not. So, we know we can store it for three months in the refrigerator. It's a little more salty, but we are gonna try these on fish. And in rice. So you guys know, if you watch my videos, I do not like fish. So, this is a rarity for me. I got my beautiful molded butter that I made. And I'll do a video on that soon. I've got it done. I just have to edit it all. But I promised you guys this video. So, that's the one I'm going to give you. And uh, lots of butter because I don't like it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to cut some of these slices and I'm going to put the jarred one on one and the canned one now the canned one is more mushy but we're still going to try it lots of seeds in these lemons I never realized there were that many seeds and you notice the seeds are brown whereas in this one the seeds are white because it was pressure canned. And we're going to take these and we are just going to scoop out what's in there and put it in the rice cooker. Let me get a spoon. Now, if you pressure can it, you cannot use the skin, it doesn't look like. But if you water bath can it I'm sorry if you if you put it in your fridge it looks like you can use the skins which is kind of nice get that seed out but if you pressure can it you can't they're really really soft but you can scoop out the inside I'm just going to put some of that in there and then we're going to put some of the salty juice in the rice because I want lemon rice and we're going to take some of this salty juice 
and put it on the fish and see if it does too much salt. What a mess. Now I'm going to take some pepper because I don't need any salt, that's for sure. And I'm going to bake this for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes and we will get the rice cooking. And we'll see what it tastes like when we come back. And that's what we have in the rice. Some of the juice and some of the pulp. And yes, I use a rice cooker. Makes it so much easier. And there we go. So let's give this a taste. First, the rice. Has some lemon in it. That's not bad. It's got a nice lemony aftertaste. And then this is the uh, side with the uh, pressure can. Well, heck, I can't remember if it was pressure can or water bath can. Let's try that. Lemony, not too salty. Definitely, you can taste the lemon. So now let's try this side. And this fish is tolerable. Interesting. This side, you can taste the peel. So you have those bitter aftertones. This side, you cannot. I actually like the canned better. Mm hmm. So, Bear's recommendation can your lemons and make some sunshine in a jar. Blessings. Never put your beautiful butter on the stove to soften. Pretty design though.